Mafia, what's going on? Today's a very special day. I'm gonna be revealing for the first time my TikTok ads step-by-step -step tutorial for how I'm achieving $6,000 per day with these simple ad campaigns. Now, if you set these ad campaigns up the correct way, you're gonna be able to achieve more profit and get more consistent and stable results with TikTok ads without your ads dying every few weeks, all right? Now, just so you know that this works, this is the same exact strategy that my boy Kendrick used to go from doing a few thousand dollars per month to doing over $22,000 per week. And if you wanna work closely with me, go ahead, don't waste no time. Go ahead, link is in the description if you wanna join Econ Bootcamp for mentorship. But I'm gonna go through this step by step. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you here in the ads dashboard. As you can see, here's some of the results on the campaigns because I know everybody wants to see them. All right, so here we go. And this is dated for the last 60 days, I believe, right? So from April to the end of May, as you can see right here, this campaign had gotten 2.25%. I'm talking about this top one right here. And we got an average of $8.84 cost per action right getting people to purchase a $40 product on our store for about $8 a pop this allowed us to get very consistent results and as you can see we spent over 1400 on this campaign so this is going to be consistent and stable over time giving you more profit now let me set up the ad campaign i'm going to show you step by step we'll set up the ads together but before we get to that i need you to follow this step Trust me, it's gonna be worth it before we get to the good part because you might mess up your campaigns if you don't understand how this actual strategy works, okay? So it consists of two parts. The first part is phase one, okay? And this is where we're testing for our ad creative. To do this, you're gonna need at least two ads, okay? So the way it works is this is our first campaign right here, we'll set this up. And then in the campaign will be two different ad groups. You're gonna see us set this up in a few. And in these ad groups, we're gonna have the same audiences selected. So let's just call this A1 for audience one and then A1 here for audience one again. I'm big on split testing one thing at a time. So we want these two campaigns here to be exactly the same. The only difference is gonna be the ads. So we know exactly which, where the difference and the results are coming from, which is the ads, right? So, you know, if you guys are big on science, you know we need to isolate one variable at a time. I don't wanna get scientific over here. But the next thing you wanna do is hook up each ad group with a different ad because that's what we're testing. So in this one, it's gonna be ad one. And then in this one, it's gonna be ad two. That way, we're gonna set these up for $20 a day, minimum budgets on TikTok. And then we're gonna let these run for about three days. And then towards the end, we're gonna see one ad performs better than the other. And then we'll go ahead and let's say it's ad two, we'll select that. And then we'll take that at the end of three days. So from day four to day six, we're gonna run our phase two ads, right? So this is gonna be P2. And then this one is gonna be, the only difference is gonna be the audience. So now we're gonna dissect our audience now that we have a little bit more data. Now we're gonna be able to dissect our audience a little bit more so we'll be able to see exactly where convergence or our clicks are coming from. And we wanna optimize for the highest click through rate. I'll talk about which metrics we wanna optimize for and what metrics we actually wanna look for to determine which ad is actually a winner, okay? So uh, down here, let me just finish setting up this example. The difference here is gonna be audience one. And then now we're gonna have an audience two here. That's gonna be our variable that we're isolating. We'll take this winning ad and plug it in on both of these, right? So let's just, for example purposes, if our winning ad was ad two, and the only difference here is what? Audiences now, right? So this is phase one, we're testing the ads. And then phase two, after we know which ad is working, we'll go ahead and split up those audiences and test the audience. Okay, if you're wondering how are we gonna get these ads done, all right? I got great news for you. I actually partnered up with my boy who owns a company called Viral Ecom Ads. Let's check it out real quick, all right? Viral Ecom Ads is gonna be the best place to get UGC ad creatives so that you can get up and going and testing your products fast. All right, user generated content is by far what's working right now. I've tried this. I spent hundreds of dollars on ads that had scripts and I've spent, you know, just a few dollars on ads that were user generated and the user generated is what worked every single time. If you wanna get those high click through rates like I just showed you, definitely use viral Ecom ads, I believe they'll give you a 15% coupon if you use my link below. So that's a great way to get started right away. 
you'll get 15% off your first couple orders. All you need to do is hook them up with the link of your product and they'll go ahead and edit your ads within three days and then you'll be able to have two creatives that you could go into phase one of testing now. All right. And if it passes this phase one and phase two, I'll let you know what to do next in a future video. But let's hang tight for this tutorial. I want to make sure that you guys understand completely how this is set up. If you have any questions so far, go ahead and comment down below. I want to make sure I actually answer you guys questions in depth in the comment section. So go ahead and check that out. Check out viral ecom ads as well. And then here is the actual setup of the ad campaign. So what we want to do is we want to come into let's just say that we are setting up our phase one ad campaigns all right what we want to do is we're going to come here and go create and then we'll go into website conversions and then what we'll do is let's just call this phase one all right and then i'll go into next and you know in total you're going to need a budget of about 240 dollars for the first week of testing that should be enough to test you don't have to spend more don't spend any less that's exactly what we need right i'm going to come up here and in ad group one i'm just going to name this audience one the ad is going to be what we're testing here you want to select your pixel and then for the actual optimization if you don't have any data yet you want to start with view content don't go straight for purchases you need to give your pixel time to warm up the ad platform changed a little bit you don't want to go straight for purchases because then you'll spend a lot of money without getting any results and your pixel just just won't understand what to do so go for view content if you have some data then go for add to carts we're not looking for purchases here we're just testing things to know what our ad creative is we want to go with the placement as TikTok. all right i want to come down here and then for your targeting select what your targeting targeting is okay this is going to defer from product to product from audience to audience so you know i usually like going for 25 and above and target either male or female if you know exactly who your audience is then even better just go straight towards that audience let's say it's female 25 plus don't go for high spend power because you you'll notice if i click this it's going to reduce the audience size to about 13 to 15 million people this is not good because it's going to make our cpms higher making it expensive to advertise making your cost per action much more expensive you're not going to get that much results so leave it broad for now these are all advanced things that we could get into later in a later video all right right now leave it broad at um spending power all and then you want to come down here and then for your interest what you can do is just select any general interest let's just say i'm selling a pet product right i'll go ahead and i could type in pets and just hit all these interests here right what most people do the mistake they do is they just um they'll click whatever is pre-selected here already like they'll come in and they'll try and find pets here and then just select that you can actually type in here you know what you want your audience to be which is pets and then i'll just go cute pets pet cleaning i'll select all of these audiences here you can also do hashtag targeting as well there's something new in tiktok ads so definitely use those those are very very targeted they're going to get you your ideal customer faster all right so you want to click all of these as much as possible i like getting it to a point where the audience size is above 50 million people so i'm going to select as many audiences as i can right now just to get those audience size is up let's just imagine that my audience size up there is over 50 million people i don't want to hold you guys too long on this video right you want to get this to above 50 million you want to leave targeting expansion off for this method you want to be very targeted with who we're actually advertising to and then we want to set our daily budget to 20 and then we're going to go with ad schedule is going to be we're going to start it from midnight the next day and then what i'm going to do is select day parting because people aren't buying between midnight and 6 a.m so you want to make sure that you select from 6 a.m to midnight that's when your ads are actually delivering this is what is, what's going to get you the most results that's what i've seen work best for me and my students and then over here we'll leave this at lowest cost for now cost cap is an advanced method this is when you get into scaling i'd love to talk about this in another video go ahead and comment scale down below and i'll go ahead and make a video of how to use cost cap method now what you want to do is come here into next and then this is where you'll be able to select your ad so what you could do is add your logo right here and then just say whatever is the name of your store just go test store right for example put the name of your brand right here and then create 
and then you'll see your video pop up right here select your video from your library and then for the text what I usually like doing is just giving them a coupon be straight away TikTok. you don't have to make a long caption at all so just say tiktokers use code tiktok for 15% off your first purchase and obviously whatever video you get back from viral ecom ads or whatever method you like using to get your videos created you want to use that and plug that video right here this is going to be your first ad and then what you want to do is don't make this mistake you want to make sure you hit call to action edit and then make sure that it's on standard and then click shop now and make sure that it's always going to show that we need it to be consistent right so you want to take the url of your product let's just say i'm just going to grab a random store here like manscape for example and then i'm just going to paste that link right here we're going to make this the link to our product page and then what you want to do is come down here everything else should be set up you want to submit now when you submit your store what's going to happen is you're gonna have one ad created all right if I come back here you're gonna have this ad created right here all right so now what we have to do is duplicate that ad campaign and then add in our other ad creative so that we can split test the ads right so what I'll do is I'll come into TikTok ads now and then I'll go into my campaigns where the draft is so let's say I'm in this draft right here what you're gonna be able to see is this first ad and then let's say it's published what you'll do is just copy and then the only thing that you're going to switch is going to be the ad at the ad level so what it's going to look like is something like this all right so you're going to have your ad selected right here i'm going to submit this and then what's going to happen is once your ad is created now we only have one ad created right now all right if we go back to our board here we have phase one we have audience one selected at the $20 budget and we have our first ad creative now we have to duplicate this into a second ad group now so that we have two ad groups running towards two different ads and we can see the difference in which one is performing the best now th the way we're gonna do that is come here you're gonna come into your your phase one ad and then you're gonna just come right here and then hit copy right once you hit copy you can name this audience one and you could be more specific with the audience like you could put pets general audience one you know and make it so easy to read for yourself now what i'm going to do is name this ad two that's the only difference in this campaign everything else is going to stay exactly the same just make sure that your ad campaigns are starting still at the next day midnight this is so you don't end up overspending and you start your ad starts running at like 9 p.m so then TikTok spends twenty dollars between 9 p.m and 12 a.m right so you want to prevent that from happening set it to the next day at midnight we'll go to continue to ads and then the only difference is we're going to select a different video that we got created from viral ecom ads so i got my same identity here and then what i'll do is update this video add from library and then i'll select this video right here and then we publish that now if we go and look at what those ads look like we got phase one we got audience one on both but then different ads you'll wait for these to start running and the way that you know which ad is doing the best is the one that has the highest click-through rate so what you want to do is come over here to the side and then you want to see which one has the highest click-through rate that's going to be your winner the best click-through rate is going to be something around the two percent area if you're above 1.5 that's still good enough so after that you'll do the same thing and replicate the same process with phase two so you'll do a whole new campaign same setup but difference now is going to be the audience is going to be different so you could do one that's interest targeting and then one that's hashtag targeting and then use your best creative that you got from phase one into that next stage each one of these campaigns are going to run for three days each so by that seventh day you're going to have a winning ad creative and you're going to have the winning audience and once you put these two together that's where the magic happens that's where you're actually able to scale and i'll let you know exactly how to set up those campaigns in the next video go ahead and comment scale right below this video make sure you like subscribe if you got some value and i'll hit y'all up with a more advanced strategy next week on what to do after this phase of testing. Peace.